everyone. I'm sitting with Miss Sita Ram from Sparkling Memories, a place where you can find information in reference to self-care, cooking demonstrations, Mary Kay, and of course shopping. You know I love to shop. If you haven't seen my videos before, you gotta check out the channel. That's what we have to do when it comes to reference to getting different topics out there. Now, today's video is gonna be about dealing with this disappointment because I don't want to say being that everything might not be kosher or to the point where you feel comfortable and things are difficult yes difficult it might be what you want it to be so that's why it becomes difficult or some people like to say complicated <laughs> i know that's really famous for people to say yeah everything is complicated i don't know i have a whole lot going on yes we all do if you don't i mean that's living right being complicated having things complex yes some things are easy going but Today we got to learn how to deal with disappointment and deal with it in adult fashion because a lot of times Even as an adult some of us may not understand exactly what it means to deal with disappointment and deal with it in a healthy environment Yes, it's going to come. Yes, sometimes it's unavoidable and yes, sometimes it basically circumstances is why it happens This is why we call it disappointment now this appointment could be anywhere as, say for instance, you apply for a job. You did a resume, you did an interview, you came in and told you everything about the job, everything went well, right? So you're thinking, yes, I'm gonna get this job, I'm gonna be good, everything will be fine, right? But the thing is, the person doesn't call you back. And when you do call them back, it's like a back and forth, there's no, you get a voicemail, and then the next thing you know, they send you an email. Thank you for considering for the job, but we choose to go with other candidates. Thank you, but do come again or do sign up for other jobs that we have available. Why would that be a disappointment, you say? Because you might have been that kind of person that was actually looking forward to doing this job because you felt you had all the qualifications and you had this mindset. You already know how to get to and from. You already know how much to pay rate and you done met the people there and you think, yeah, yes, this is the job I'm going to get into. And then guess what? They work on your favor. That's disappointment, right? Another instance, say for instance, you're going to the doctor's office. First thing you suspect is that they're going to give you a whole paper to fill out all your personal information. You're probably going to do an examination. They're probably going to weigh you. They're probably going to ask you a few questions before you actually get to see the doctor. Because, you know, that's what the most medical admin do. Because they want to know if you have insurance and stuff. Now, here comes the disappointment. You go see the doctor and you doing some tests. And then he tells you your results is not gonna come in until like weeks later. Weeks later, you go back to the doctor. Guess what? Bad news. Bad news because you had very good intention that yes, everything's gonna work out because you went to the doctor, everything will be fine, right? But you get news that is difficult to hear and now you have to figure your way around it and how you're going to pay for whatever surgery or whatever you have going on in terms of medication and probably days off from work or probably you might have to take a little trip somewhere go see another doctor get a second opinion and then you're disappointed why because things didn't happen the way you intended it to now that happens in various different things now the only thing with that is having a positive attitude because you having a positive attitude even things are not happening the way you wanted to that is very much needed because you can't stay in that kind of doubt and looking down like oh my god why this happened it happens because it's life okay it is life it happens to you it happens to me it happens to susie and mary jane and everybody else okay because you ain't no different you know why because disappointment is a part of life just having things happen that might be difficult to hear or difficult to deal with now another thing when it comes to it on my website sparkling memories I have whereas I talk about self-care there's a whole handbook ebook that you can literally download after you pay for it and you actually get it automatically sent to your email and it tells you about self-care self-care is important because when you know how to deal with a situation the proper way then it comes a little easier later on because you don't want to get that kind of person that lashes out lash out mean you get to a point you go and you talk a lot of crap about the company or you talk a lot about the person that did you wrong and it might be anger it could be disappointment because anger and disappointment is two different things let's make that clear 
okay because you could be angry and not disappointed and you could be disappointed and not angry <laughs> i know that sounds confusing but it happens okay because one thing you want to understand is even as children some children actually believe that there's a santa claus there's a tooth fairy and they have to grow older and then people tell them no these things are things mommy and daddy told you that aren't quite true so now they look at the parent like what did, did you just say the two variants in real did, did, did you just say there's a santa claus <laughs> yes and then they look at their parent like oh my god my, my parent just lied to me i can't believe my mom would lie about her or my father would lie about her big difference lying anger disappointment they're all emotions they wrapped up together and you could feel all three at the same time that's another thing Dealing with the emotions in a proper way is another way of staying healthy on a busy schedule. Because guess what? If you don't plan, then you plan to fail. Okay? Now, a huge part of doing this is having it to the point where you know how to deal with it. A lot of times, just meditation. It could be anywhere from yoga, a massage, a walk, listening to music, or even cooking your favorite meal, going to your favorite restaurant. These are all things you can do to take your mind off of that. When you get disappointed, you want to distract yourself away from that, but you still want to deal with those emotions head on. Dealing with those emotions head on can help you in the long run. You don't want to be the kind of person that holds everything in. Holding everything in does nothing for you and does nothing for the people around you. Now, when it comes to this, there are different things you can do in results to that. Strength. Strength is something that we all have to take into consideration that some of us are not as strong as someone else so when they take disappointment it might not be in the same mindset or mind frame as you might take it because each time you think about a person each one of us are differently made and individual and our vision and what we have been through may all be similar in certain instances and other times it might be a little different now dealing with difficulty is one thing that these were emotions and when you come to a point that you understand if you don't deal with emotion and you don't deal with disappointment number one you go always think that people are going to disappoint you and you're always going to think that you're always going to have a something that's going to come and be negative that's number one where you don't deal with your emotions and you don't deal with disappointment in the correct fashion now if you do deal with directions in terms of dealing with disappointment then guess what you know how to talk about it you know how to express yourself whether it be various different things i mentioned before or you just a person that needs to sit down silent now all the time dealing with emotion means you have to be up and down and all over the place sometimes it's, it's being silent and you sit and you meditate Ain't nothing wrong with that but if you're a person that needs a little bit more extra it depends on you and probably your sign and your experience and what you've been through in the past so for everything that has to do with disappointment i'm suggesting my self-care book it gives you a little bit more as far as what you could do and then move forward from there till next time this is miss city round for sparkling memories bye bye